firstly I'm going to make sure and wash and then I'm going to cut this side here that you're seeing on your screen and open up that piece of meat like a butterfly cut but not really a butterfly cut so now let's make some seasoning I'm going to mash up some chili peppers some thyme some small thyme and I'm going to use some garlic and I'm going to use some freshly picked pimento, all of the seasonings from my garden except the garlic. We have so another type of thyme also and I have some basil that I put in my refrigerator and one teaspoon of salt. I did use saif and celery and I'm going to mince that well. Now I am going to open it and place some of the seasoning. I'm doing the seasoning the day before I cook this meat, all right? So I'm going to place some of the seasoning on the inside. I'm also going to place some underneath the skin and also on top of the skin. I am going to turn it around and place some on the inside of the bone itself. So as I said, I'm placing some under the skin. Now this have a lot of salt, so it is going to marinate and really flavor this chicken. And I choose to mince my seasoning this way lately. I just find I enjoy the intense flavor of the seasoning once I use my mortar and pestle and mash that up. I find I enjoy the meat especially more and the seasoning is more intense this way. So these days, this is how I am doing it. So this is what it looks like when it's done. I'm going to leave this for 24 hours to set. And you can see every corner, every crevice of this chicken is properly well seasoned. Don't forget the link for that coldest water bottle. And now we are going to start to stuff the chicken with moringa as you just saw the moringa that I have soaking. I make sure and wash it properly. You know you could pre-cook your moringa or you could use it fresh like this. It's totally up to you. I didn't pre-cook it. I just decided to pick it off the tree, wash it and place it into the chicken. But you could cook it, steam it down first. So once it is stuffed and stuffed properly, I'm showing you the inside of the meat has the moringa underneath the skin has moringa and i place some all around so i'm using some breadcrumbs and i'm going to coat the entire chicken with this breadcrumb and this is homemade breadcrumbs by the way and be cautious about the salt because remember the amount of salt that was used in mincing the seasoning now you could omit the seasoning the salt from the seasoning but then that will help marinate the chicken so just be cautious there is salt in the seasoning and in this right so i also use um, skewers to just secure the meat so when it's baking it won't open out and the moringa will cook properly so this is what it looks like before it go into the oven for 25 minutes at 400 degrees and it's all done and you can see how well I sealed that chicken and none of the moringa came out and everything was perfectly cooked. I even placed some of the crumbs on the inside on top of the moringa before closing. So there is breadcrumbs and crunch and flavor all over this chicken. And you can clearly see once it's cut how much of the breadcrumbs was inside, on top of it, underneath and around totally coated in the breadcrumbs and it add extra flavor to the moringa because the moringa wasn't cooked prior so adding that extra breadcrumbs on top of the moringa on the inside and then sealing all around the chicken so it, it enclosed all those flavors and it's going to steam and cook properly and this is how easily I make use of some fresh moringa in my garden and a piece of breast okay it was really simple really enjoyable what did we do we somewhat butterfly the chicken breast we seasoned it properly make sure all over that chicken was properly well coated in our seasoning i had it marinating for 24 hours the next day we stuffed uncooked moringa we placed some bread crumbs on top of that 
moringa, seal it and coat the entire chicken with even more of that breadcrumbs, homemade breadcrumbs. You can use any type of breadcrumbs if you see fit. Control your salt with your breadcrumbs because most time breadcrumbs are really salty if you're purchasing it. So when you're doing that, remember that your seasoning have salt. So you don't want nothing overly salted to spoil your very fancy, fancy dish. Something like this in a restaurant will cost you big, big bucks when you can do it simple at home. Thanks for watching.